What's up, Mount Peace? It's your boy Nick Roach, Chicago Bears linebacker. Here with my man Jim Day down here at the Saloon, 200 East Chestnut, one of the best steakhouses in town. And uh, what are we going to be working on today? Well, today we're going to be working on uh, one of our menu items. Um, it's truffle Peruvian whipped mashed potatoes with uh, Utah sushi grade scallops. And we're going to make a uh, roasted red pepper coulis as a side sauce. We're going to cook everything up uh, and uh, show you how to plate it. AKA delicious. Now I'm official. Good. You look good, you cook good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so basically we're going to start out with the sauce here. Roasted red pepper coolie. What we want to do is start with some roasted red peppers. So we want to start out maybe about six ounces, four to six ounces. Pop it in the blender in the bottom here. Add some roasted garlic and you got about two cups of olive oil here. That's a lot. You want enough to, to blend it so it's not all chunky. Give a nice little red color in there. Now we want to, anything in the kitchen, you always want to add salt and pepper to have. Right. Have a little pinch of salt. All right. Have a pinch Not of like pepper. a man pinch or like a, uh, a chef pinch? A chef yeah, pinch. Maybe touch more. You always got to taste stuff in the kitchen mm. make sure it's it's right before it goes out. I can so. do that. Mm. See if it's certified. Mm -hmm. Very good. So that's going to be our side sauce. Now we can get going on our uh, scallops. We got a salt and pepper is good. A nice trick for uh, for scallops okay. is using a uh, cast iron skillet because it retains its heat a lot more. So you're going to get a nice crust. At the saloon, we use grapeseed oil. You don't want to use olive oil when you're cooking in a, a sauté pan okay. because the smoking point is so low because you'll burn you'll burn your food. So what we're going to do is. Get a nice brown crust on this. As soon as it's crusted on one side, we're gonna flip it, pop it in the oven for just a couple minutes, um, and then the scallops should be ready to go. See, we got that nice brown color on the scallops. So we're just gonna pop them in the oven. By the time our, our uh, potatoes are gonna be done, these scallops should be perfect. These potatoes, they're actually from Peru. Um, there's over 3,000 different types of potatoes that come out of the Andes Mountains. This is one of them. They're uh, Peruvian purple man purple potatoes. Pure am, mix them with a little bit of cream, um, heavy cream, butter, salt, and pepper. There you go. But we fancy it up a little bit by uh, adding some French uh, white truffle oil. Mm. Have you had truffles before? No. Oh yeah, the little candies, the chocolates. No, <laughs> this is totally different. Oh, uh, never mind. No. <laughs> so. I'm sure this is a question you get asked every day, but I'm still going to have to Have you ever worked with a piping pick? <laughs> you know, out of all the times I've been asked that, I always have to say no. Okay, here you go. First time for everything, right? This is your can standard kitchen piping bag. Okay. Sure. Um, now, in order to kind of create less mess, you want to fold it, it down like a little bit. Okay. Like so? Yeah. So just try to keep it open as open as possible. All right. Shake down. the jump to the bottom of the bag. Right. And you want to grab it and twist it like this. Okay. Twist it a couple times. Twist the bottom. Oh. Basically, so you got a nice, nice little tight seal. Gotcha. Right. Is that good? Yeah. What do you usually go for in terms of like composition with this? Uh, well, something that's going to be visually striking. Uh, you know, something that's going to kind of want to make your mouth water right before you actually eat it. So you eat with your eyes before your stomach. So, right. so something that's going to be visually appealing. More? Yeah, keep going. On top or around? <laughs> this is a serious mountain. Can I clean it up for you? Yeah, you can do it. It's Just... falling. Uh oh, there it goes. It's the leaning tower. I admit, I was trying to go for a, an asymmetric uh, <laughs> potato pile. All hot stuff's out of it. Look at that. What's that finish? Saloon Steakhouse Scallops. Look at that growth. This is unbelievable. Yeah, okay.